Hey guys, Gunjai Mori back here with another video. So today we are going to be doing a mod review of something I recently added because originally I thought it would be too OP and I really didn't want these OP creatures just spawning around the map. But then I realized they don't spawn in the wild. You actually have to craft these creatures. So what we are going to be doing today is another one of the Arc Edition creatures, one that isn't in the collection, the Domination Rex. So... With the Domination Rex here, we got five normal variants that will spawn in. We'll get to those other ones behind me. So right here, we have the normal Domination Rex. And as you can tell, this thing is based off of the Indominus Rex from Jurassic World. So for legal reasons, he has had to name it the Domination Rex. So remember that when you search it up. And then we'll get on to what it can do here in a second. But first, we're going to go through these five variants. So, with the normal one here, as you can see, it's just classic albino. Then, over here on this one, this is the scorched variant. So, this is the one you are able to craft on scorched earth. And, if I go into my inventory here, and I search up Domination Rex, as you can see here, here's the normal map egg. And, that's what it would take to make it the cunning, the hunt, and the brute artifacts with a Tyrannosaurus Tooth and three Alpha Raptor Claws and 50 elements. So these are end game creatures. Again, this requires artifacts and elements to craft. Then we got the Fertile Domination Rex here. I'm pretty sure this is a different variant, but yeah. So you can see to craft them, you need artifacts. But so you, the way you are able to craft this is this one would only be available on islands with the artifact, those three artifacts on them. The ones from the island. So here on Ragnarok, yes, they will spawn. Then we have uh, the Scorched variant, which I'm maybe you could get on. Uh, I want to say maybe on uh, Ragnarok, but I'm not too sure. But as you can see here, Scorch does come in this orange color, and it has this pattern across its entire body here. Where what the? I have no clue what just happened, but as you can see here, it has this pattern across its entire body, and I believe even down its legs. Yep. Then, over here, we got the tech variant, and which, for the tech variant, if we quickly look here, I think it's the only one that's a little different. Tech Domination Rex. Alrighty, yeah, this one's the more expensive. So you need Ambergris, and you need Black Pearls, Crystal... Electronics, Element, Metal Ingots, and Polymer. I don't know where you get Ambergris at. Uh, but yeah. So this one's definitely more of the on the ex expensive side as well. Just because of the Element. And uh, all those other resources. But yeah. Seems how it is tech, you would expect it. And with the tech one here. Do you mind? Aberration variant. Uh, you got a lot more spikes. Definitely along the back. A little bit more identifiable it is a lot smooth i gotta say this about most tech creatures it looks smoother than most like it actually curves in the way that the creature would instead of going and then boom you all of a sudden have a sharp turn i feel like that's what they did what they did with most creatures most creatures but uh they hear they got uh the tech domination pretty good i mean it moves smoothly but anyways on to the next one this one here is the Aberration variant, which down its back, I wouldn't say it really has a pattern or that's just completely solid black. But on the sides and on its belly, you got this nice little kind of pattern where it looks it looks same to the Scorched, but they kind of didn't do the back and they did a lot more on the belly. So it does still look like that. It's, why am I... Ooh, I keep teleporting when I move. Yeah, it's not exactly the same kind of stripe patterns, but it is a stripe pattern again. And then we over here have the Extinction variant, which, as you can see here, it's different color than the, all those. It's got a little bit more of a brown. And then underneath, it's got the... What, what would you say these are? Like the tech integration kind of deal with the creature where it's like organic tech parts inside of it they've added those onto it and it also got a stripe pattern as well but this time instead of it going uh vertical it's horizontal so yeah 
So we got those five variants there. Now, since Genesis has come out, I do believe they've had more legal issues. I heard a little, like, maybe a year back they had to maybe be getting rid of it, but I'm not too sure. Nothing has changed. I haven't heard any more. But seeing how there's these Genesis skins, I would take it otherwise. So these are definitely themed after Genesis Part 1. And as you can see here, we clearly have a bog variant, which is this nice green and... Uh, like, yeah, it's just this nice green, and it I wouldn't say it's striped. I'd say it's more, like, dotted and then, like, parts carved through. It's a really nice color. I mean, I really like how it goes from this light green to yellow, this yellowish green to, like, dark and all that. I really do like it. I mean, it does seem more jungle camouflaged. I mean, it, yeah, it makes sense in the bog. Then over here in the middle, we got this blue one which is for the snow biome. And again, none of these creatures do spawn in the wild, so the way you craft these skins is with element here. So as you can see, all of them just take five element to make, and you can't grind them, so you can't get the element back. But yeah, and as you can see, not too much difference. It's polka dotted, definitely. Well, not polka dotted. It's dotted with these darker blue spots, and then it has a dark blue running down its back and up its head and uh, it has blue eyes this one has green eyes that's nice to notice then we got the lava biome which this one it is I'd say a lot shinier than all the others but uh, yeah it's a lot shinier than this like all those ones next to it because like if I get up at it like that red is glowing and I'm not, I'm not meaning, like, the belly glow here. I mean, like, the actual red just seems to be so shiny it glows. But, yeah, as you can see here, not much of a texture. I'd say, like, really a lot of stripes of black and reds there. You can cut, yeah, I can see it now. Uh, my screen also has glare on it. So, yeah, there is definitely a lot of texture there. Uh, different, like, you know, patterns on it. I don't know why I'm saying textures. It's a different pattern of the skin. But, yeah, and... On this side, you can't see it that great, but you do get a better look at the glow. So as you can see there, we got that side glow, that profile, but yeah. So, there are other skins that glow, of course. The Aberration variant glows, the Genesis, and the Tech, but these two do not. So, yeah. So what we're going to do here is we're going to grab the normal Domination Rex here, throw a saddle on it, and we will get to showing off what it can do. So, as you can see here, it moves really fast. And if I hit the left trigger, I got a simple bite attack. And if I hit right, I got a simple claw attack. But if I apparently hit a certain, if I hit the right button and hold down, I do a pin attack and get an insta kill. I didn't get a really good uh, shot of that for you guys. So, get right up on this guy. And then we'll go. Is there a cooldown on that? Uh, yes, there is. There is a... I'd like to say a good... Let's see how long that cooldown is. That would do 100,000 damage. Or 100 million damage. Well, I guess it is an insta-kill attack. Then you gotta... You gotta let's see how long that cooldown is on the pin here. Now that we have our HUD up. So if I hold down right trigger, he'll pin this, and then boom. That was a hundred million. It's about a thirty-second cooldown on the pin. So yeah, that that does a lot of damage. So this could be a little OP, especially seeing that you have that insta kill attack. But here's the more important part. And this dude has a cloaking ability, like the shadow mains and the rock drakes. So if I hit C, boom, he's cloaked. And he does. You can still move with him cloaked, all that. Bite, you can swipe, uh, and, if, yeah, there's the pin attack, but it's not doing anything. But then if I hit over here on C again, and then go to control, we got a little RAR, which I found pretty nice. So, alrighty guys, so that's all I got for this episode, and as you can see here, me and the aberrant variant here, just up here on a cliff tell you guys what's going on so if you want to see more arc please leave a like and subscribe 
Um, and if you guys want to see any other mods, please suggest some. I do have a couple lined up for today to record, so I'm recording a couple today. So just remember, the next couple videos that come out, they're about a week behind. So if you do need to mention stuff, it probably won't come out for a week or you won't. You won't hear it in a video from a week, but I tend to read them the day that I see them. So, yeah. But anyways, this has been Ganshai Mori signing off. Love you guys. Peace. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like an